Let's do this again with the anatomy in place. So you'll see my little key down here. CCK is red, secretin is yellow. Um, a lot of times they're both together, right? But there's a couple of differences here. So the stimulus um, is gonna be a little different for the two. Where we're gonna start here, we're starting starting right here. This is, this is our start. And we've got, what am I doing first? CCK is released and that is in the cells of the, the, the glands of the duodenum in response to fats and proteins in the chyme is the stimulus for that. Secretin is released from intestinal glands as well. That's in response to a low pH. Here are those endocrine cells, S and I cells that release those hormones. Their hormones go into the bloodstream. That's what hormones do. All right, we've got the stimulus. CCK is going to enter the bloodstream and is going to target first the pancreas. So at the pancreas, we've got, oops, okay, uh, CCK first, that's what I said. Let me change my color. At the pancreas, pancreatic enzymes. Are going to be released from the acinar cells. Yep. Then we've also at the pancreas got bicarbonate release. These are released together as pancreatic secretions. Regulated by two different hormones. Kind of cool, the vagus nerve also acts to mildly stimulate this. Is it gonna increase or decrease, do you think? Pancreatic secretion release, the vagus nerve. It's going to increase that. That happens in the cephalic and gastric phase um, to start those digestive, those pancreatic juices a flow in before the actual chyme stimulus has um, arrived. Okay, what's happening here? Here is our um, duct that's coming into the small intestine. So to get that to open, we've got the hepatopancreatic sphincter. I think I finally learned how to spell that. Opens, CCK triggers this. So now, bile juice and pancreatic juice can enter the duodenum, which is super convenient. All right, continuing, and actually, this is actually the last thing if you're thinking about flow, these are all kind of happening together. Um, I'm gonna number these though in a minute. Before the sphincter released, we had to have bile um, secretion and gallbladder release. So here we've got Secretin triggering bile secretion from the liver. The other thing that's actually doing this is bile salts returning from circulation and stimulating this as well. Then we've got CCK's job in terms of bile is going to be gall bladder contractions, causing bile ejection, right? Um, vagus nerve also weakly stimulates this in those earlier phases. So we do have those, the pancreatic and, and gallbladder responses beginning as soon as we start thinking about food, just a little bit. So this is number one, we had start. Two is really both this and this at the same time. 
but we'll do three, two, three, um, four, and five. 